here to tell you about my testimony about God. So, when I was little, like a couple years back, actually not really, but like maybe six, seven, eight years back, I kind of always, I kind of wanted to know who, who God was. I don't know why, but I, I think it was, he put like a, a feeling in me or a hunger to get to know him. And that's when I really started to, 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 to figure out who he was. And, you know, I, I always knew he was real, but I struggled with my faith. Like, because, you know, my parents, they never really, they never really taught me about about God and they never really talked to me about it. I mean, they believed in him, I think, but they never really talked to me about it. We were kind of just, they're basically luke, lukewarm Christians, lukewarm. And, um, and, you know, that's a shame because I think everyone should talk to everyone about God. You know, God is important. Everyone needs God. Everyone needs Jesus. And it's just a shame that, that people don't really talk about him a lot because Everyone needs everyone needs Jesus because you know we all sin and we need we need his um, his salvation that he gives us. So um, and I started to like not really believe in him. Like I, I really had str struggle believing in him. I don't know why, but you know. And then um, I'm trying to speak well, you know. I'm not the best speaker, but I'm trying. And um, and yeah, I, I really started to struggle with my faith a lot. Um, there was really just like I didn't know if God was real, and, and I didn't even know if Jesus was real. So I started to just pray and read the Bible, and and I started to get hunger for Him. Like I I don't know what it was. I just out of nowhere I just got. I just wanted to read the Bible and pray because I wanted to know who God was. And now, back then I didn't realize, but now I know that that was God who was, who was pulling me towards him, like a rope, you know? And, um, you know, I, I just started to believe all of a sudden. I started to believe. And, and at the time I had a lot of anxiety about just stuff, you know, just dumb stuff. And, and all of a sudden I just started to believe. It, 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 guys, it was it was really amazing. Like, um, I just can't explain it. I just believed. I just prayed and I read the Bible and I just I just said I, I just said Jesus, you know, please help me with please help me to believe in you. I want to know if you're real. I want you to reveal to, the truth to me, you know. And he did, and I just believed. I don't know what it was. I just I believed, you know, and. But but I always sinned. I I, I didn't stop sinning, and that's the, the shameful part. I didn't stop sinning. You know, I could have, I could have stopped sinning then, but I, I didn't, and that, that's, but, but God had a plan for me, and, um, he had a plan for me, and I started to become, like, because my family was Catholic, and my grandparents, they're really, they're really strong Catholics, so, and I, I was living with them, and I kind of saw how they, they prayed a lot, and I just kind of liked it, so I just, you know, I started going to church with them. And because I, and I knew that was God. He, he, was, he was starting to pull me towards him because he, he really like, he, he wanted to, me to get to know him, like to have a relationship with him. And that was the beginning. And now I know that Catholicism, like being a Catholic, is not the true, like, it's not true. <clears throat> being Christians is, is what Jesus wants. He doesn't want us to be Catholics. But at the time, you know, I think that was just God pulling me toward closer and closer to him. So I started to go to church, and I didn't really have a great relationship with him. Like, again, I was still sinning. Like, you know, just so you guys know, um, like, just, just to give you an idea, like, I always used to disrespect my parents. I never had respect for anyone. Like, it was always, I was kind of really selfish. I was really mean. I mean, not mean, but, no, I was pretty good, but I was just mean, like, sometimes. A lot of times, actually. I was mean, and and just I, I I struggled with a lot of not I don't know it's hard to explain but but I struggled with sin like I and I you know I teased my brother and just stupid stuff that that we shouldn't do and um, and I struggled with that 
But at all the meantime, I was trying. I was going to church, and I was, I was, I was trying to get closer to God, and and I did. I did. And I slowly stopped sinning. Slowly, I slowly started to stop sinning, and um. And then I, you know, I started to become, you know, more, you know, you know, religious, religious kind of, and. But then, last year. I started to watch um, a, a sister on YouTube, and man, you know, that just changed everything about everything I, I thought of. You know, it changed all my thoughts because when I saw her, I really saw Jesus, and I haven't seen, I haven't seen, like, I, I've seen people like who believe in Jesus, but I haven't really seen Jesus in someone, like, because no one in my family is saved. You know, so there's not, you know, I I don't really see Jesus a lot in my life in the people in my life you know. and I, when I started watching her videos I'm like that, that's Jesus that is Jesus like I, I know that 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 lady you know she's she's my friend now but she is like I, that's Jesus like that she's definitely speaking the truth like I, I can trust her like I, I know that's that's Jesus speaking through her and and she, she's awesome man and and she has dreams a lot and you know, I'm not gonna say her name because I don't know if she wants me to to say what who it, you know. I don't know if she wants me to like put it out there, so I'm not gonna say her name. But she's awesome. Like she's a true Christian, and and she actually helped me with a lot of stuff. And she actually told me that what God wants is a relationship. And I didn't know it at the time, but yeah, but like he wants, he just wants to talk to you, and he wants to like him to be a, a really a big part you know the biggest part of your life kind of you know like the central part of your life like he wants you to be like he doesn't want you to put like school or work and like in front of him he wants like he wants um i'm sorry I, i'm trying to explain but he wants um he wants him to be a, the biggest part of your life um because we need him you know every every each and every one of us needs needs jesus you know, we, we can't do it without him. He's, he's just, you know, he's awesome. And that really, that's what it was. And that was like the best thing that ever happened to me in my life was him coming into my life and him just changing my thoughts and about everything. And, and, um, man, he, he just, I mean, he took away sins that I never even imagined I would get over it. I mean, I overcome sins, guys, because of his help that I never even imagined, you know, overcoming, guys. Like, he's that amazing. Like, he can do anything. But, you know, even even at that time, as he was pulling me closer to him through that, through, you know, that sister in Christ, you know, you know, he was trying to, you know, get in touch with me. The enemy, you know, he, he deceived me because, because, you know, I, I, was, I was a Catholic and, and, you know, I kind of believed in all the things that the Catholic Church taught. And one of the things that they taught was, one of the biggest things that deceived me was praying to Mary. I always used to pray to Mary a lot. And that was just the biggest thing that deceived me. Like, that that was, that deceived me. Like, the enemy, he really deceived me there. And I thought praying to Mary was okay. I mean, it, it looked good, it seemed good, you know. And, you know, you know, and, you know, and, um, you know, because that's what Catholics do. They pray to Mary and they pray to the saints. So, I, mean, I, I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. But then God, he started to just, I don't know. He just started getting in touch with me. And he just started to put ideas in my mind, put things in my mind that, that, um, that really just started to turn me away from that stuff. You know, and I started to read Bible passages that actually, that God was speaking to me through. That actually said that no, I don't want you to pray to Mary. I want you to pray to my son Jesus. You know, Jesus is He's the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through Him. And He's the only mediator that we, we need. And like I remember reading a passage that said, you know, the only mediator between God and man is Jesus Christ. You know, it's not it's not Mary, it's not a saint, or it's not um, um like any other God, like whatever. It's just, it's just Jesus, you know, he's, he, he, he's all that we need, and, and I started to realize that, and it was awesome because, you know, 
you know, um, you know, and he started to reveal just so much to me about what I was doing wrong in my life. And, you know, it, it started one year ago when I started watching that. Remember I told you that sister on YouTube? It was, it was that, like this year, this year, he just, he really changed me this year. This year was the biggest year of change that he did with me. He just started to reveal everything that was wrong in my life. He just started to reveal that I should only pray to Jesus, that, you know, he's the only one that can help me because he's my Lord and my Savior. And he just started to reveal to me all the, the feelings, like the, the bad feelings that I had towards people, like grudges. I held, I held a lot of grudges. Um, and I, I, was, I was really hateful. You know, I wasn't loving. Um, and, you know, sometimes now and then, you know, I get angry and stuff, but, but I, I turn away from it. And that's, you know, that's a good thing. You know, I, I don't keep that. Because I know Jesus, you know, you know, when he comes again, he's not going to... He's not going to accept us if we have any anger or hate in our hearts, if our hearts are not pure, you know, and so I got rid of that. But I used to be very angry, you know, and very hateful and very malicious and not too malicious, but you know, just a little bit towards people who, who don't, who are not nice or who are mean. And, and it was, it was not really, it was, it was, it was not good, guys. It was not good. And I could have gotten rid of it, but I held on to it, and that's a, sh you know, and if you, if anyone out there is having trouble, you know, you know, if, if you guys are going through that stuff, get rid of it quickly. It only weighs you down. It's just baggage, extra baggage that you put onto yourself, and you know, it's not. You don't need it, you know. Jesus doesn't. It's 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 everything that Jesus is not. You know, Jesus is not hateful. He's not angry. He's not malicious. You know, he's loving, and he's kind, and he's patient, and, and we're supposed to try to be those things. Um, and he, he'll help us. If, if we ask him, he'll, he'll help us, and he'll, you know, like, like, like now, I don't really, I don't disrespect my parents. And I know he has some work to me, because, work to do, you know, in me, because it's a process. You know, and I, another sister in Christ, she taught me that, that it's a process. And, you know, I, there's still, you know, he still has work to do in me, but, um, it's just a process that we have to go through. And, um, and yeah, he, he's just, guys, he's amazing. He, he's really, like I never thought he would, he would help me with anything. Like in the beginning, I thought, you know, man, you know, Jesus, he's for other people, you know, Jesus can help other people and he can't help me. But no, 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 he can help you. Believe me, if he can help me and I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I'm not special. I'm not, I'm not. I'm just normal. If he can help me, he can help you. You know. And now you know he's he's starting. You know he's he's telling me. You know Michael, like right now, like today, he's telling me that I can't be casual in my walk. I, I have to just I have to really keep in the center of my life, because you know this week I've been just, you know, I've been kind of putting school and work and all that stuff in. You know more important than him, and he he doesn't want me to do that, because he he's. I, like I, I feel him like you know the conviction like of the Holy Spirit he like it tells you that you know he'll tell you he'll tell you stuff like when, when I'm straying away he'll tell me you know Michael you have to you know you have to come back you know, you know don't worry about you know other stuff other dumb stuff you know just worry about me you know especially in this time you know we have to you have to stay close to him because he's coming soon you know he's coming really soon I mean, just the other day, I was looking at my phone and, like, I don't know if you have it, but, like, on the side, there's all the news stuff, you know, the news reports, and each and every one of them had to do with the end times. I mean, guys, like, one was about Hurricane Irma, one was about North Korea, and, like, each and every news story had to do with the end times, and I was just like, wow, I'm like, we're really in the end days. Like, these people who, you know, all these brothers and sisters in Christ, in Christ, not, in not Christ, in Christ, who are having all these dreams and stuff, it's it's all starting to come together, you know? And and we don't really have a lot of time, guys, so, I, you know, I just encourage you to just, just keep Jesus close to you. I don't know what time, oh, okay. But uh, just keep Jesus close to you. You know, don't, you know, if, if you humble yourself and you get rid of all the, the bad stuff and you humble yourself and you just ask him for forgiveness of your sins and you know, he'll answer you, guys. He'll answer you, because he did it to me. And, and he's really awesome, you know? 
he, he's, he'll help you with anything you need help with. I mean, not bad stuff. I mean, good stuff. Good, that, the stuff that matters to him, yeah, he'll help you with. Not like money and stuff. And that's a lot of the... I think a lot of people, they make the mistake of... of um, you know, they pray to him. Like, I know some people in my family, they, they do that. They only come to him if they need money, uh, help with finances. That's not the way it works. You know, we have to come with, to Jesus with our whole heart. And we have to give our whole heart to him. And that's how he helps us. Because he... He, he wants a relationship with us because he, he loves us, guys. He loves us. And if, if people don't love you in life, just remember that he loves you. The other day he told me that because, you know, you know, people are mean, you know. They don't care about you. They don't they don't love you. And he, he told me, he says, Michael, I love you. I love you. You know, if people, people, people in this life, they might hate you, but Michael, I love you. And I heard that in my spirit and, you know, it really is amazing. Well, that's a spider right there. All right. Um, and you know, you know, he'll help you with, with anything you need help with. Um, so I, I really hope this helps at least one person out there. Um, you know, I've really, you know, even just one, just one. You know, I, I want to help at least one person. You know, if you, if anyone needs prayers or anything. I'm more than happy to pray to you. You know, that, that's what I'm here for. That's my job. I can't really, you know, I, I want to do something, you know, because the, the Lord, he wanted me to put this out there and, you know, now I want to do something. So if, if anyone needs prayers or anything or, you know, I'm, I'm here, you know, um, I'm here to help anyone. And, 